So I'm here in Morocco. Sun, you know, I might even get out today. Um, I've got my new wedges, new grooves. Look at those babies. You know, this ball's going to spin off those and do everything I want it to do. Can't wait to try them out. I'll be back in a minute. Magical about a new set of golf clubs. I always get excited about it, can't wait to get on the range. You know, they're all so shiny and new, and there's no scratches on them yet. They can't remind you of what they did with them yesterday and how you topped the last one over the green. And gosh, I do love it. But uh, obviously, sometimes the, the golf club isn't the cure that we're looking for, and we'll get out and make the same mistakes that we did before. So when I'm out here trying out my new wedges, really what I'm looking for to see is what kind of reaction um, I'm going to get from the ball on the green. Uh, is it spinning more than the old wedge, which I hope it will be now with new grooves? I mean, you really ought to change your wedges quite regularly. Um, I know it's an expensive business, but if once they start to get worn, you really do lose a couple of thousand uh, revs of spin, which is all control on the green. When I chipping a lot of times you know I, I just try to keep my brain clean I'm not really trying to think about very much at all in fact my main uh, target is to get a visual image of how the ball is going to both fly land and react when it lands and then roll out more than I'm going to be thinking about the technical parts of, of the shot I'm trying to play I won't really think too much about my stand. Am I standing open? Am I standing closed? Is I'll be gripping it long or short. On the contrary, I'm really just concentrating on what I want to do with the ball. And then when I actually get over the golf ball, I've only got a picture of the landing point on the green. And otherwise, there's absolutely nothing in my mind whatsoever. And the shot, as you can see there, really hasn't turned out too bad, but I'm not thinking about anything. I know all of you are tending to try and do it right, and, and often because we're creatures of habit, you know, the club is reminding you you did it wrong yesterday, so be careful to do it right today. Remember to hip, turn your hips or keep your head down. And this is all terrible stuff. One of the reasons that we kind of think all this as well is because we're kind of pushing ourselves into technical boxes. Uh, you're, are you chipping the ball here or is it a pitch? How do you know the difference between a chip and a pitch? Apparently when you chip, you've got to have your weight on your left foot, your hands forward, your head over the ball, and then keep your wrist stiff, and, and then you hack it. Uh, and really, I don't think there's any professional out there who's thinking about this stuff. If I use a little bit of wrist in my chipping, who cares as long as the golf ball's next to the hole? But I'll see amateurs out there, you know, we, we play here in Morocco, and they're chipping the ball next to the hole, and they're unhappy. I know, why? Oh, well, you know, I didn't keep my wrist stiff, or, or I, I, I moved my weight about. If, when we're perfectly honest, this golf is not a game of perfect. I think Bob Rotella wrote a book about that. And if you can actually get into your brain that there isn't a right way, or a wrong way. There's just a, a successful way or a non-successful way, a repetitive way, uh, or uh, one that doesn't repeat. If you are topping the ball once and then chipping it nicely the next time, then maybe you've got to look at something. But it's certainly not going to get any better on the day. So if you're standing out there and you'd like your hips to turn, it's not going to happen. You know, maybe in six weeks if you were to practice every day to turn your hips, but it's not happening today. And quite honestly, you could probably spoon the thing onto the green without thinking about it and although it won't look very pretty you know you'll 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 get the right kind of score and a lot of people I think forget that golf is a game of how many not a game of what do you look like you know you're not getting uh, points for, for for presentation here and I think if you can get out there and just enjoy the game by getting a clear picture and just hitting the shot so I'll go behind the ball and kind of imagine what I want to do, even to the point where I want to actually hold it. And then I'm almost convinced myself, you're going to hold this one. And I'll get this lovely little picture of a nice short ball flight and then it rolling out and round to the hole. And when I get over the golf ball, that's the only thing I have in my, in my mind. I'm seeing that ball flight, I'm seeing that ball 
on the green. And I was saying, get in the hole. Now that didn't get in the hole, but there's got to be a reason why I teach it for a living. I know I play it, isn't there? I hope this helps you. I'll be back very shortly with another tip. If there's anything you want me to talk about, then leave a comment below. Uh, if you like the video and you think this might help you, then please hit the like button. And of course, subscribe to the, sh the channel. The more subscribers I have, the more often I can get back and give you these kind of tips. And yeah, I hope it helps. We'll see you next time.